Hello everyone, Dragon84 here and welcome back to another Shotgun King video. Um, this series seems to be relatively popular, so I'm just gonna do another one. Hard mode, because uh, very hard is just very hard. Um, and I just wanna get good at this game, so let's just try and get good. Stay on the black squares because of the white bishop. Try and kill the knight early. I mean, the, the first uh, level is always basically the same, but that's fine. There's enough uh, variance in the game as it is. Let's just kill the rook from here. Then oh, I hit all three of them. Reload. Kill the pawn. Kill the final pawn. This is just the most safe way to... Um, to finish this specific level. I mean, the first level is relatively easy. Um, Alright, so... I mean, high focus is just so good. I'm I'm pretty sure high focus... It's either high, high focus or black mist that is the best card. Um, and removing a bishop and adding pawns, that's actually pretty decent. Pawns... Uh, you can add a lot of pawns to uh, cards to make pawns better, but pawns on their own aren't that threatening because they're not that fast. So you can it, it, you can get overwhelmed by pawns, but it doesn't happen instantly. And having firepower really helps a lot with that. So let's just try and kill the knight first. Yeah, you see, our firepower makes means that we are getting through this onslaught pretty quickly. <laughs> you know what, I'm, I think we can just go for the king here. Well, all right, we need to go for the rook too. And I mean, just shoot the king, I guess. I love having a knight in my uh, soul slots, but I'm going to uh, figure out if it's possible to um, to finish this without using the soul slot because when I can consistently um, win without using my soul at that point I know that I'm ready for very hard mode um, so these are both uh, right extra barrel and holy gunpowder are both very good so let's look at the downsides assault at a pawn pawns can walk two squares on their first move I mean we have a lot of pawns so that's kind of scary um, Extra barrel is very good. I, I don't mind the throne room that much, especially since we we get more firepower. I'm gonna go for this one. I think the plus and the minus work decently together. But I wouldn't have faulted anyone for going the other way. I think both are pretty viable. Uh, is there a spot where we can stand where the knight can't attack us? Yeah, that's here. That's good. Let's get through those pawns. We can deal some damage to the king, that's all the better. Oh, we actually don't... Right, we, we always want to have... Um, spot between us and other things. We could try and kill the king right now, I mean, yeah. But thinking maybe we can uh, kill some of the pawns first. Alright, there's the queen. Um, I still need the achievement for the right scope, high focus and crow's eye. That's the sniper achievement. This is pretty good. Um, I like the scope better when I have multiple bullets because well, you, you lose one turn by aiming and that's a big thing, um, but I think we need to do this anyway. It's important to note that the engra engraved scope doesn't do anything if you don't right click, so... And the mode is also very good, so I'm doing this partly because I need the achievement, partly because I think it's just very cool. Um, but I don't think either option is bad, per se. Um, right, so let's kill the knight first. Well, we could have 
killed the knight. Just one second. Right, sorry, I needed to uh, check my phone for a second. Uh, just making sure that my wife wasn't in trouble with our son. Didn't expect that to be the case, but you always want to be sure that you're not leaving someone in the dust. Um, yeah, let's just go here. Bam. Yeah, the queen has more HP. Oh. Queen has more HP, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, sure. Get the queen, then these pawns, the rook. Now we probably need to clean house here first. All right, there, and I don't think well, we can actually kill this one before it promotes. Uh, I don't think I played this one very well, but it worked. August presence and high focus work very well together. But we are getting overwhelmed a little bit and that can be a problem. So um, conscription can, can mean that uh, in the mid turns, let's say right turn 10 or whatever it's it's easy to get choked up and that can be a problem but queens can die is also very scary i mean i just don't have the mobility for this and and i built right engraved scope means that you're not very mobile i don't like uh, this one right now so i'm gonna go with this one um august presence can also allow you to block bonds by Standing in front of them. Right, let's move first. Then the knight. Right, when, when I'm here, the pawns can't move here or here, so that's something to keep in mind. Yep. Although, uh, I am preventing the pawns from moving, which means that. Uh, they will move the next time they can. So you can also uh, create problems for yourself that way. Now everything is moving at the same time. It's also a problem. But let's kill the rook first. We have five firepower, so this is easy to do. Um, yeah, let's not be in check. Kill the queen these pawns oh right non-king pieces can't come near your king that's that makes sense makes a lot of sense um, but we need to make sure that we're not losing right here All right. let's actually just get rid of the king but now I mean, we can't get rid of all the pawns, so at some point we need to kill the king. We can just stem the bleeding. Make sure that... Oh, I really don't want this one. I mean, more pawns, that's that's gonna be a big problem. So, um, losing ammo, that's not, not great. But honestly, dealing fire, firepower damage to... I mean, Want of Wrath is just a very good one. I think this is my favorite because it... <laughs> it can really allow you to surgically um, remove a piece and it, it can really help you move out of a, a lot of very difficult situations. So I like that. Um, we're gonna be in check next turn so we can't really use the scope here. I'm just gonna shoot at the knight and hope for the best. Let's use the scope. Try and kill the bishop here. Nope. But that's also fine. Yeah, we're in check again. Let's at least kill the bishop. So, um, this is the kind of situation where I need to think a bit. Because if we're going to move in any one of these spots, um, we are going to put ourselves in a position where the rook is cutting us off and the queen is 
going to move next turn. So if we go here, the queen is going to be able to move after that. It has 6 HP. We should be able to kill the queen. I'm gonna try. Yeah, alright. Th that was the plan. Honestly, I, I think right, we, we, we could try and be greedy and just let those pawns do their thing, but I think that would be a mistake. Right, King has 3 HP. Uh, we didn't even use our wand. We never used our card yet, so I think we're in decent shape right now. And at some point we might be able to... Um, do stuff there. We don't have any backup cards yet, so Lookout Tower isn't that bad, right? It says backups come five turns sooner. Uh, it also adds that's a rook uh, after ten turns. I'm pretty sure. Um, but being able to play an extra turn after using a soul card is so incredibly good, right? It it means that you can uh, move use your soul card to move move out of check, and after that you. Um, Right, you can move into check and after that you even have another move or shot and that's very very good just free actions is just if you get more actions that that's just one of the things that helps you of course i wouldn't uh, even see this one uh, if i didn't already have a soul card um, there's some restrictions on what cards can show up uh, that's a pattern you see when you um, right Cards have reasons why they can or cannot show up. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna gra grab the Sacred Crown. I think it's very good. Alright. Um, I'm always going to try and move out of the line of the Queen if I can. And. Right, let's use the scope. Kill the Knight. And now we just reload the Rook. Yeah, that Rook really made a big mistake in coming here. Bam. Right, then we can kill the Queen. Yeah, we... Uh, the AI, AI chose to make things easy for us on this particular turn. I'm not complaining. Um... But we are going to be in trouble eventually. I just think that it's not right now. Yeah, we we had two free things to do and we didn't need to use them, so I think we are in good shape. Um, these lookout towers stack, so the rook will be there very quickly. I love gradual uh, absolution, especially if I have multiple uh, things. But we already have a bunch of firepower, and this also gives us plus one firepower. So I think this is just better. But it means that we can't ever take any reinforcement things ever again. Because that's just too scary. I think we just move here first. Shoot. Um. Are we going to kill the queen if we shoot now? I think we need to use the scope first. Not 100% sure, but if we want to be 100% sure to kill the queen, this is just what we need to do. Wow. And there's the rook. Oh, second rook, of course, because the lookout tower adds another rook. Both of them did. So that's not really a surprise. Yeah, but we are extremely strong now. Um, if we want, we can just kill one with our wand, which we... Let, let's just do that. I think that's fine. We also have a very small um, um, shooting arc. 
so we can just right when, when something is close it's just always just going to die i think we can take our time here just to kill off some pawns that might promote and then kill the king yeah, we have a lot of firepower we have the scope Corner Despot, I love that. Um, also, firepower again, but the, the drawback isn't that bad. Um, it's a thing, I mean, th there's a lot of rooks on the board, and uh, rooks and queens have a tendency to move you away from the edge of the board. So we won't always have that, this, but I mean, it's just very good. Also, it removes a pawn and Pawns are a little bit scary right now. Um, Unfaithful Steed is also pretty good, right? We have a Knight Soul, but Bodyguard. Wait, is there even? A... I think there's one Knight right now, right? Yeah, there, there is one Knight. Uh, so, the the drawback of this one isn't even all that bad. I think both of these are fine. But I love Corner Death. But I, I'm just gonna go with more firepower. You really can't go wrong with more firepower. The biggest question is, uh, right, the white cards, they can sometimes just be too much to handle. Right, our range is not enough to uh, hit anything here. Um, yeah, let's use the scope. Yeah, we are in check. Um, so, we have power 7 and I, I'm always, almost 100% sure that... <laughs> I mean, if we shoot here, we kill the knight every time, right? I just don't want to lose a run because of this, because that would be so stupid. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna move back a bit. I mean... I'm basically 100% sure that there was no problem there, but... Honestly... Oh, wow. Right, the, so because the two high focuses are turned off, you know what, I'm just gonna kill this rook right here. Then you can see what happens to my fire arc, it's just tiny again. It's interesting, minus 18, percent, uh, minus 18 degrees is actually a lot. Let's move. Uh, we should probably just kill the king here, right? Fine. I mean, we could have gone after the pawns, but it looked like we were pretty safe just killing the king there. Alright. I hear a washing machine in the background. I, I hope you don't uh, have any trouble with it. Um, let me know if you do. Oh, this is... Right. So the mode is very good, um, especially when you have stuff like uh, I Focus and Corner Despot. Um, adding a queen? I mean, this makes queens very bad, relatively speaking. So I don't think it, it, this is that bad. And Rightful Curtsy is just not that great. And Conclave becomes pretty scary when you have two lookout towers. I think we need to pick this one, but not my favorite choice here. <laughs> but we've been pretty lucky in what we did so far, so. Um, all right, the scope will add one range. I'm gonna use it here. The bullets are going to fall off. We get to kill a pawn, that's fine. Let's just do this. Alright. Root back up. Yeah, that, that was the, the thing here. The rooks would be scary at some point. Oh. Yeah, we, we don't have a lot of ammo, that's our biggest problem here. But, let's just um, do 
this. We have a lot of firepower, um, we are hampering our opponents, we have a lot of bonuses. Um, extra barrel is so incredibly good. Kite shield, kite shield is really scary, honestly. I think kite shield is my least favorite card to play against because it just makes knights so incredibly difficult to kill. Um, it, it does mean that we need there's one uh, bond that we really need to kill, and we don't have a lot of ammo, so. How did we lose so much ammo? Yeah, we lost one ammo to Entitle and one to Cardinal, right. Um, yeah, this means that we... Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna take the extra barrel, I think it's worth it, but... These last two turns haven't been all that great. But we haven't used our soul card even once. And we haven't had to use our wand a lot of times, so I think we're still in good shape. Alright, let's just stay here. And I just want more ammo here, honestly. Let's take the time to reload. Let the enemies come to us. And... I did not wait for the backup, but we have power 9, we are always going to kill this rook. We are 100% to kill this rook. Game? Please. Don't scare me like that. Um, I can move here, kill the queen. Yeah, that's a 100% kill. We can just move here. Just go for the king, I think, yeah. Oh, right, we just got the secret air. Um, not a problem, but something to keep in mind. Is it not a problem? I don't know. Um, this is honestly really scary. Um, all right. What do we need to kill? We, we still have the Want of Wrath, we still have our Knight Soul, so we're not in trouble yet. Um, but how are we going to do this? I just completely uh, forgot about the Secret Air just seconds after taking it. That's a problem. Um, so we have Power 9 right now. We're always going to kill the queen here, right? The game is going to tell us that we are not, honestly. Maybe we should just use the Wand of Wrath, just in case. Alright. I'm not sure, but... I mean, I just want to be 100% sure that I'm actually winning this. Oh! And as I say that, I just completely punt the game. This happens sometimes, I mean, that's one of the reasons why Black Mist is so good. Um, I could easily have won this one, but... It's just very, very difficult to deal with everything the game throws at you. Um, I need to get on that. Um, as I play, I'm, I'm going to get better and better. Um, I, I'm very sure that I could have won this one, but... You can just easily get sloppy here. Uh, anyway, this was another Shotgun King run. I had a lot of fun playing this and I hope you had too. Um, and I will see you next time because I am planning on revisiting this series in the future. Uh, for now, it'll be every Sunday, but I'll see how it fits into my schedule going forward. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.